it begins not on, in, not in the brain though, it begins in the body. It begins in the ability to find safety physically, to be able to sit in the presence of somebody and to be able to relax your body. Because the information that comes from the body and from the central nervous system determines what um, features of brain activity you have available to you, what parts of the brain are available to you. And um, while so many people can override that compartmentalization in the brain, those people are the ones who have come from environments that were good enough, where they had social supports that were good enough, that they had enough resources around them to where they can transition effectively from being from that override into that override state. But for our kids that struggle, um, the issue around um, rewiring the brain, around giving them uh, experiences and giving them an opportunity to build dendritic connections, that give them different options when they're under stress, requires that we interact with them under a stressor. But in order for them to not um, be overwhelmed not to fall back into their trauma behavior or their maladaptive behaviors. They have to be in an environment that's safe enough for them to dare to do something different. And we think of it as a conscious, controllable act. And the reality is, is that we know that for so many of these kids, the body and the physiology override cognition. And so they immediately, without thinking, go into a state of survival and they don't have the ability to think about it in a linear or a logical way. They're not connected to those parts of the brain because in a survival scenario that part of the brain is not needed in the moment of perceived survival.